the Dagari music, which is really powerful, sort of, it's, it's a really important early influence on me personally. And it's, um, I started the band to kind of figure out what it was about that music that really resonated with me. Um, and I have uh, so many more influences. A massive influence actually for me has been playing with Jim and Ruth and the other musicians who've been in the band and um, learning in the UK, in the London scene, I guess, learning about um, improvisation and um, kind of the, the way we can ask ourselves to be more and more open. Well, I'm from, mainly from a jazz background, um, and uh, I guess that, like the way we're playing this music, or my approach to playing this music, is to try and learn the the songs that Bex has taught us from starting with the early traditional songs, and then and then very quickly moving on to her own compositions and trying to interpret them uh, the way I hear them as a as a drummer. Um, with all, you know, we're all bringing our own varied influences to this music and, and, and sharing them with each other which is how the music has evolved and how, what's made this trio so strong I think is everyone's brought their own things to it and processed Bex's music and musical vision through those musical sort of filters and our, our imaginations. I just really share what you know what Jim was saying. Um, also from a sort, well, probably come from a more rock background. But I've also played a lot of jazz and improvised music. Um, and yeah, it's just been really amazing to be with Bex on this journey, learning all this stuff. What she's you know, or trying to learn all this stuff, what she's been learning, but also making it our own. And it's been great for she's very open for us to bring what what we're good at and make that a new thing you know so the development of it has just been really really amazing Actually, just because we've been here at Stanglerhof for a week now, and we've sort of had a residency here, so we were rehearsing every day, and we've just had loads of time to experiment with stuff. So you know, we've tried to take old, well, tunes that we've played before, but make something new with them, um, and just really internalize certain things that, like, things that are m more difficult about this music, and maybe with any of the other pro projects that I've been playing, they require more time learning it because it's rhythmically very challenging. And, you know, so we just had this time to try and, well, for me at least, you know, to try and internalize that a bit, more, a bit more and be a bit more freer with that as well. And I think we've done really great. We've had a really great few days just experimenting loads and not having the time pressure of someone had to be at a gig. And, you know, it was just really nice to be together.
it feels like a new chapter and um, like I feel it in my body like that was my intention the new chapter but I didn't know what it would look like or sound like or feel like and doing it now this week I'm I'm just so like elated um, so I'm yeah I'm really excited about what this next what this chapter is going to become and what the band is going to become and, but whatever it is I think it's going to be good because there's there's a real good intention in it and there's a lot of love in it so how can it be how can it be bad right you're right and really excited to play first concert in 18 months here yeah. tonight yes it's just yeah perfect <laughs> perfecto <laughs>